Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, joining our ever-growing collection of Android home screen setups is a special one for those of you who are a fan of classic 90s anime. With an over-the-moon request score of over 12,000, I bring you Usagi herself, Sailor Moon. And just like the rest in the series, I'm going to show you exactly how you can take your boring Android home screens and turn them into something like this. So if you want to see more like this, as well as other Android tips and tricks, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh and don't forget to get your favorite images animated, make sure to submit them right within the Epic Live Wallpaper app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost them right to the top with the number one ranking request made on a weekly basis, so don't miss out. Now, even though this isn't the original submitted image, I'm sure we'll all agree, it's turned out quite stunning, with the elegant Sailor Moon on a lunar plateau. And with this one, I've gone ahead and snuck a few extra details to really elevate this backdrop, continuing our trend of next level live wallpapers in 2023. Now as for the home screen itself, it's simple yet adds to the astrological look of the wallpaper, with these out of the world symbolic icons paired together with this bold but elegant date widget, which of course has been coloured to match our custom dock backdrop. Now before we go any further, if you guys like this setup, make sure to smash that like button, it will really help out the channel. To replicate this home screen on your Android phones, all you're going to need is Nova Launcher, KWGT for all of the widgets, and finishing things off as icing on the cake, we're using Hex Installer. Now don't worry, I'll leave a link for everything that you'll need down in the video description below. So let's kick things off with some Nova Launcher tweaks. Starting with removing that notification bar from our home screens to give us this clean look. For this, within Nova Launcher settings, just simply head into the look and feel section and under notifications, make sure to disable this option right here. So now that we have that out of the way, let's make a couple more changes within Nova Launcher to get this comfy icon set up. So just head into the home screen section and starting right at the top with the desktop grid, we want to set that to 5 across and 11 down. After which, for the icons themselves, we're first going to turn off their labeling and then decrease their size. And finally, let's look at that custom dock. Here, make sure to first enable it. And for the padding option, we want to max out both of the sliders here. So now that that's sorted, we can finally add in a dock background. So starting right at the top, make sure to enable it. And then for its background color, we're actually going to add in our own custom color code. Just copy this code right here. After which, we're also going to set its transparency to 49%. And next, make sure to toggle on padding. And as for all of the cornering options, we want to make sure that we set these to squarical, all at 100%. So now that we have the basic setup, let's move on to our home screen app icon. Giving us this out of the world symbolic look is the promptly named Abstract Pack. Just simply head to Nova Launcher's look and feel section and then set the pack as your system icons, just as I'm showing here. Now, before we go any further, let's grab ourselves this awesome live wallpaper. For this, just simply head over to my custom collection app, Epic Live Wallpapers, and you'll find it there. And remember, if you want me to animate one of your favorite images, make sure to submit it right within the app itself. 
And of course, don't forget to boost it higher up the list. And every week, I'll be making the number one ranked request. Now, it's time for our KWGT widget. But right before we get into it, we need to first make one final Nova Launcher tweak. And I promise, this is going to be the very last one. So within the home screen section, just scroll all the way to the bottom of the list, where you're going to find both of these overlapping options, which you want to make sure to toggle on. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to our KWGT widget. This color customized, bold, but yet elegant date indicator from the Miniism pack is minimal 138. Just simply start by loading in a KWGT layout to your home screen and then you want to resize it so it looks something like this. And once done, because it is overlapping our home screen app icons, we are also going to long press it and select the option to send it to the back. Now within KWGT, we are going to start things off by changing that default turquoise color to match our home screen dock background. For this, from on the item tab, we want to head into the stack group item and then the overlap group right at the top. Now here, you're going to find the two different text elements, one for the month and one for the day. So head into the top one and using the paint tab, just simply apply this custom color code. Next up, let's add in that black outline to our month text. So for this, from on the previous screen, just use the tick boxes on the right hand side to select that second text item and then just copy and paste it. So now that we have a duplicate created, just simply head into the second text item and this time using the paint tab, we want to first change its style from fill to stroke, adjust its stroke size to about 3 and finishing things off, just make sure to set its color to black. Now additionally, if you also want to adjust the overall widget size outside of all of the item groups, just simply use the layer tab and adjust its scale option. And once you're happy, don't forget to hit save before you leave. And now wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across your whole system, including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. Or alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app OneShade. Now if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next one. And as for your live wallpaper requests, make sure to boost them right within the epic live wallpaper app itself. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.